everybody. Welcome back to Fun in Tim's Garden. Really appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's a very big deal to me, I appreciate it. Okay, so it's an incredible day outside in Minnesota. It's like 75 degrees out. This is totally unheard of. Got the greenhouse set up. We did that in the last episode. So stoked. Anyways, I wanna get these outside. And when it's 75 degrees out and I got my greenhouse set up, it seems like a no brainer. But I've been watching the weather forecast and I'm sorry, it's gonna cool off and get cloudy and I gotta run some temperature checks before I bring the plants out because I don't wanna kill them. Now, it's very important to harden off your plants when you bring them outside. Well, what the heck does that mean? It's real simple. If you just put them outside in the sun, they're gonna die. They're not used to it. These plants, these seedlings that are here right now, this is like a spa for them. Perfect light, warm all the time, plenty of moisture coming in. They can't go wrong. But you take them outside and that's quite a shock to their little systems. There's this thing called wind blowing across and constant sun. They don't know what to do and it gets cold at night. Holy cow. So, you gotta ease them into it. So the very first day, I'm gonna bring them outside for maybe three, four hours. And I'm gonna put them inside the greenhouse. I want them protected from the wind more than anything. That green skin that's over the greenhouse, that'll filter the sun. That'll make it much easier for these guys to adjust because they're not gonna have these covers on them anymore. But it gets cold at night. Now I've got a light set up inside the greenhouse to keep it warm. It's just an incandescent bulb, but I wanna run some temperature checks. And what, what does that mean? That means I'm gonna write down the temperature. What's the temp outside tonight? It's supposed to go to like 50. What's it inside the greenhouse with that little light on? I wanna keep it at least 50 or above. Okay, so all that said, at night, we're pulling these things inside. I don't wanna shock them. So we're gonna ease them in again, harden them off to get outside. Now the daytime temps are another problem. So today it was like 75 degrees here in Minnesota, late March, early April. This is crazy talk. Anyways, if I have that greenhouse zipped shut, the temperature in there went to 105 degrees. That's gonna kill your plants. Boom. We don't want that. This, this has been too much fun and too much work and I actually care about these little guys. I want to see them to be this big. All right, so how do we keep it from overheating in there? That was my problem with the cold frame that I mentioned. It's real easy. What you do, you just open that door and let the breeze come in. But here's the deal. The rest of the week is supposed to be cloudy outside and I don't remember how hot does it get without direct sunlight coming in from the south? If it's cloudy, it might be 65 degrees outside and 68 inside the greenhouse. Can't remember. Before I risk these guys, that's what I'm gonna do all week. So, that's where we are. There'll be more to this episode coming. We're gonna be bringing these guys out, setting them up, watching the temp. That's it. Thank you for watching, so appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Again, there's a button right over there-ish, somewhere. And uh, have a great night, okay? Hey everyone, welcome back. I know I said, tomorrow I'm getting my plants out, but guess what? It got like super cold in Minnesota. It's been highs in the 40s instead of the 50s and 60s, which is kinda a little lower than normal. So it's been two weeks. Gotta get the plants outside. They're having a little hard time inside the little biodomes now. You'll notice some of those tomatoes are pushing against the top, which means it's great, but they wanna be free. Some of the others, they seem to be struggling a little bit. I think they need some fresh air. So today, we're gonna move them out. We're gonna start the process of hardening them off. So I'm gonna take them outside today. I'm gonna leave them outside for maybe two, three hours. It's about 70 degrees inside the greenhouse. We'll see what happens. I'm bringing them in at night. I may put them back down here in the basement. I may put them on my kitchen table. I have not decided yet. That said, we're gonna start the process. I'm also gonna do something else. I still have some fast growers I wanna get going. And I'm just gonna put them outside in the greenhouse. And we're just gonna see what happens. I may set them up down here, put them on a heat mat like I usually do. But in the greenhouse, nature's nature. We'll see what happens. 
So that's it. That's the quick update right now. We're gonna get these babies outside. We're gonna see what happened. I'll have a quick update to finish up the episode. It's gonna be good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Have a great afternoon.